thank you for you know, in keeping with the evening. Um, the folk theme might come and read a story about really depressed robots. <laughs> and, um, yeah, uh, it's recently been, well, it's been published. Club. <laughs> uh, in a magazine called Some Ways and Disappear. It's a pretty nice magazine. Full of colour photos. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, the story's called. I have to explain it a bit because I've given it to a few people and they've just sort of found in me. <laughs> so you're in, you're in for a treat. Um, yeah, this story's called um, Cali Valleys. And uh, basically it's a town uh, from, the <laughs> from the field of robotics. You want to stop hanging out with Tom Elmore? This is dedicated to Tom Elmore. <laughs> And uh, basically it's a first theory about like uh, when things too start to too closely resemble uh, humans, uh, there's a feeling of like uh, repulsion. Like uh, it's kind of it's been used to explain like um, so why a lot of commu uh, computer animated stuff is just disgusting. <laughs> like um, the most famous example is like the Polar Express by Tom with Tom Hanks voice in the character. I don't know if you've seen it. Yeah. yeah, it's awful. And it, it makes me feel sick. <laughs> it does. It really, it really turns my stomach. <laughs> but like, I thought it was an interesting idea, like uh, just about you know, like uh, this sort of like thin line between what it is to be like human and not human. Or something. Yeah, just all this potential stuff. I'm just sh shoehorning into the story. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd write a story about sort of robots who are very afraid to like meet each other, but it's a lot more depressing than I'm making out. <laughs> um, yeah, that's probably about it, I'll start reading. <laughs> okay, uh, so yeah, this is called Uncanny Valleys. Uh. <laughs> Boy would be afraid of woman, woman of man. Man of each, the skeleton of no one, and no one a skeleton. A system has been established for this room, just as there has been a system established for every room in the apartment. This, more than a matter of trial and error, but also less. Man stands in corner of living room, wearing lampshade on head, hands widely gloved aside, body stiffly called to attention. Woman stationed behind the curtain, body flat against glass, except for woman's head and shoulders, which grow towards boy walking freely around the room. Boy longs for man, woman for boy, man for no one. In this way, man comes to understand his resemblance to skeleton, has begun attending to skeleton during time, neglecting even the making of coffee during time. Boy wandering around living room. On quite another day, boy might be there and covered on the sink. Boy's turn though, boy making coffee. Boy only interested in coffee and man. Boy sighs chromatically. Boy has come to understand that man's reaction to attempts at connection, overtures, will always be samey. Were boy to walk to corner of room, push heavy air chair, armchair up to a man's side, climb up on the long chair's wooden balustrade, and lift slamp shape from man's saintly head, boy knows exactly what would happen. Man would scamper away, arms raised, bleating irregularly, his complexly bibbed, duck-tailed waistcoat rolling up man's torso like party whistle in recent repose. The door would slam and adjacent room fill with man's shudders. Boy stirs coffee anti-clockwise with silver spoon as instrument. He goes fridge for milk. Photographs cover fridge. Boy examines them. Boy looks for himself there. Boy isn't there. He does not understand that. Family like museum. The photograph is a museum case. Boy searches for word. He says word. Speaking not forbidden but cost time. Boy takes made up milk from fridge shelf and carries the cup. Boy turning coffee anti clockwise to spoon and pouring made up milk into cup. Boy uh, milk swears in darkness the way a galaxy is supposed to. Boy watches and considers. Boy's head looks up, speaking his cost boy. Boy opens door of sink cupboard. Boy calls in. Skeleton is speed bump under otherwise blanketing rug. Man puts skeleton there, wanted skeleton to fit. Skeleton does not fit, or take turns though. Woman waits. Skeleton does not fit. Woman pulls back curtain. Woman staring at not quite closed door covered under sink. Boy trailing leg there. Woman walks up to coffee, bends over coffee. 
Coffee's steam deletions help women forget sadness. Steam break over woman's chin in shape of tugboat. Woman in good condition, better than boy or man. Boy like a ragged, sucked on teddy bear of one eye missing. Man just pathetic and terrifying, to woman at least. Boy uncovered, longing for man, a fear of woman. Woman remembers boy. Woman picks up coffee cup and walks towards television. Woman not paying due care. Woman immersed in life. Skeleton turns partial under rug. Cup flows in air. Coffee brief canopy held over the world. They collapse. Coffee stain already in brown bone. Cup break against wall. Woman picks self up. Man shakes head. Lamb shakes tassel. Tassel. Woman stares at wall then at knees. Knees mostly unhurt, all broken by newspapers, man stuffed in skeleton's ribs. Man attempting then to make papier mache organs for skeleton. This instead of coffee, woman thinks. Woman picks a slight tear of skin around knee. Woman turns around and walks to coffee. Woman not bothering to cover skeleton. Woman not considering skeleton at all. No poor skeleton, only poor woman and poor boy. Woman makes coffee. Strip of newspaper coming out skeleton, encrusted but moved by ceiling fan never stopping. A ticker tape skeleton, stuffed with headlines. Woman contemptuous of skeleton is information model even. Death explained as a kind of product recall to woman, way back by pre-skeleton. Pre-skeleton no different tonally from skeleton at first, hence pre-skeleton. Woman thinking of skeleton and pre-skeleton in relation to woman. Woman looks at knee and broken skin she of knee specifically. Woman speaks out loud. Kettle clicks. Woman doles out freeze-dried coffee. Woman pouring boiled lime scale all over granules. Woman smelling coffee. Skeleton bobs into woman's bent vision. Woman stands straight. Woman will wait five minutes for coffee to brew and press coffee down and then woman will walk behind curtain. Word woman said equals most expensive word. Woman angry at man in advance for not doing share. Woman will miss turn with milk later. We will not think of that or expensive word women use for theory recalling exact why of word. Boy smiling sink covered at sound of word. Boy stop smiling when realize word archived within. Woman observes skeleton head. Woman considers it. Woman remembers pre-skeleton had snapped piece of bone that looked crumpet inside. Woman looks at fridge photos for self there. Sun in pictures but not here. Light on skeleton head would never be buttery. Woman walks over to Skeleton, redresses Skeleton in blanket. Skeleton factually joined in again. Boy observing this from slitting door. Boy has no idea what woman is doing. Boy knows you wait by coffee in order for coffee to work. Woman has no right, boy. Boy has no right. Only man has right, thinks boy. Woman presses coffee down. Woman sighs grammatically. Curtain okay, but window hated by woman. Woman does not wish to see woman's image. Boy not afraid of self-image, woman afraid of this, man afraid of this. Skeleton is like boy, but on condition that boy be unknowing of this. If boy knew, boy not resemble skeleton. Woman lamenting hiding place. Woman too large for sink undercover. Woman could lampshade, but man will strop on turn and do even less than. Maybe worth it, woman says. Woman choose behind curtain. Man counts to ten inside. It is easy for man to do this accurately, man thinks. Lampshade space helmeted under man's arm. Necktie under man's bib is big blood flake. Coffee on side for man. Man walking to side. Boy's hand tries hemline of man's trousers from under sink cupboard. Man pours a cup of black coffee and picks spoon up, ignoring boy. Man stirs coffee anti-clockwise with silver spoon as instrument. He goes fridge for milk. Photographs, fridge. Man examines their scenes. Man looks for himself unafraid there. Man takes photo from fridge and places in pocket. Made up milk carried to coffee cup. Man hands shakes as milk loses notion of structure and liquid. Milk submarine then whitely island in coffee darkness. Boy under sink tapping Morse code out on pipe. Woman against glass. Man feeling approximate to his sense of fatigue. Man leaves coffee for skeleton on the rug. Man uncovers skeleton and puts hand amongst poorly bundled paper heart slab that man had soaked self for. Man, man understands what is and isn't in hands and says several things out loud. The cost is immeasurable. Man takes up position and places lampshade on head. Man stands stiffly negated. Man not come out again. Man will wait for skeleton to take turn. Coffee will cool if it must, man determines. Boy will leave room and make coffee. Woman will leave room and make coffee. 
but man cannot now leave room or make coffee. Man closes the skeleton now. Man and skeleton smiled, stationed in room. Skeleton will not break being without will. Man will not break till being with or without will. Then something will see, man thinks.